Okay, so good morning everyone. So time for uh, another video. Just before we start, um, the goal is to get 2,000 subscribers via the 1st of January 2024. I'm about 50 away from that at the moment. So if you're liking the content and this series, then please um, subscribe to the channel uh, and comment and like the videos. Um, as I said, this is part of a series. If you've not seen the previous videos, please go ahead and check them out because they're being done in a structured order. This video uh, is going to cover um, variables, um, a little bit of automation, backups and revisions um, within Forty Manager. Just before we get started with that, I just wanted to outline the costs um, and how relatively cheap it is to run this type of environment in Microsoft Azure. So if you remember the architecture, we've got a hub in France, a spoke in Germany, a spoke in Sweden, and a spoke in UK West. Now, I've not recorded a video for the last two days. So if I look at the billing within Azure for just yesterday, you can see that the total cost for those four virtual machines is 70p a day. And that's simply because if I go into the Azure resource group and then pick UK West and then go into the virtual machine, you'll see that when I'm not using it, I'm shutting the virtual machines down. So it's just a little bit of a tip and trick uh, how to get the best out of being able to do a, a mini lab like this in Microsoft Azure. Um, I have brought my own licenses to the table here because if you do use the Azure subscription licenses, then it can get a little bit pricey. Um, if you uh, are interested in purchasing licenses, um, I am a Fortinet partner in my own right now, um, so we can have a conversation about Fortiflex, that kind of thing, if, if you want to do that. Okay, so before we get back in with the main video, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a backup. So you log into your Forti Manager, go into the dashboard system configuration. There's a backup icon here. Uh, we don't, we'll take encryption off, but um, please in the real world enable this. Uh, and we're going to OK that. <clears throat> Should get a backup file that gets installed to my downloads folder. It does. Uh, if I go back in there, you can see backup history. There should be two backups there taken um, this morning. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a little bit of automation. So um, in one of the previous videos, I created a, a loopback interface known as loopback zero on all the devices. So if I go to the hub France network interfaces, you'll see that there's a loopback zero created, same on UK West, same on Germany, and same on Sweden. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use a CLI template to remove that configuration, and then we're gonna re-add it using uh, variables. So let's crack on with that. Okay, so before we do that, the, as with everything with Fortinet, um, you need to make sure that you remove everything that's associated with an item um, before you're going to delete it. So I know that um, on the hub and the spoke, there is firewall policies that are referencing loopback zero. So if you look on the spoke here, you'll see that there's a firewall policy that re referencing loopback zero um, and the same in the opposite direction. It was the same in the hub, but I've already removed that pre-video. Um, we So we can continue on. So what we're going to do now is we're going to run a script to remove the loopback interface from um, both the hubs. So we're going to create a new script. So I'm going to put remove loopback zero. Um, I prepared the commands earlier here.
I believe that I now run this script and choose the device. Okay. It's saying there's an error, but I don't think there actually is, to be honest with you. Yeah. Okay, because uh, it's already been... Okay, that's fine. Um, it's already been deleted on one of the devices. Um, so if I go to Network Interfaces on France, it's gone. And... UK West, it's gone. So what we're going to do now is we're going to apply the loopback interface um, to all devices, but we're going to use the metadata variable to achieve that. So the first thing that I need to show you is if I go to policy and objects and then advanced metadata variables, you'll see that I created one called loopback zero underscore IP, and I've used per device mapping to map a different IP address, because the loopback needs to be different across each of the devices. So now to apply it, we now need to go back to Device Manager, Provisioning Templates. I created a CLI template called Add Loopback Zero. But what I'm going to show you is under this set IP, if I press a dollar sign, I get the option to select a variable. So I'm going to select Loopback I zero underscore IP and I'm going to OK that. Now I'm going to apply that CLI template to all of the um, CLI template groups that we've got. Lovely. So now it should just be a case you see that they're listed here. So it now should be a case of running the policy package through again. Let's apply it to the spoke. So I go back to device manager, Sweden spoke, you can see on the network interface that it is there and Germany is also there. Lovely jubbly. So that covers that off uh, in a little detail. Just um, imagine the capability that this gives you when you've got a very large deployment to be able to use the metadata variables to map them on provisioning. Uh, we'll be doing a lot more around CSV imports, that kind of thing in future videos, but um, it's a very, very powerful tool and it's what really elevates Forty Manager to the next level, certainly when you're doing large SD1 ADVPN based deployments. So for the final stage of the video, it's just a case of putting back what we've broken, let's say, to back to the default. So on the dashboards, um, some system configuration um you can do a restore um i'll drag the file in now so uh, i didn't do any encryption or anything like that um we're going to just restore i'll skip the video forward so we're not looking at a bar going across the screen okay so just to complete things Devices come back online. Um, <clears throat> there are other ways of doing a restore. I don't think that this is the this is the common way. I just wanted to show you how to do a full restore. Um, so it's back online. If I go to policy and objects, policy packages, you'll see that um, <clears throat> the firewall policies that we're referencing loopback zero are back on both devices. Um, the scripts that we created are no longer there and the provisioning templates that we created are also gone. So that's effectively a way to restore back to a previous configuration. You can do it on a per device basis and we'll be covering that in, in more detail, but this is from a manager perspective. 
uh, and that brings this video to a close so um we shall see you in the next video where we'll continue on with um a lot more automation